All right, and hey, we're back. Let's see. Who can we talk to? We can talk to a lot of people here. Death now. Let's see. Death Neil. You. As much an accusation as a question, the broad-shouldered woman shakes her head with a scowl. So, you're Tunan's fate finder. I was expecting something more impressive. She bows in spite of her misgivings. Death knell. Scarlet Fury. My time is yours for as long as it, it amuses me. The fighter effortlessly spins a broadsword around about in her hand. Let's get one thing clear. Stick with your words and law. Leave the fighting to the grown adults. Your corpse would just be a tripping hazard to those of us having a proper bit of carnage sport. We've got enough useless twats dying for our name as it, as it is. All, all our horde recruits seem good for. Of late is piling, piling in a shit reeking mound on the battlefield. She hums low to herself and flips her sword aside and from side to side with several deft flicks of her wrist. Keeps up and we'll have to toughen our recruitment standards again. Now, what do you need? Swelling until it's thundering, then crashing and receding. It's been the way of the course for as long as I've been in it. She offers a one shoulder shrug, ambivalent of if anything but more likely just uncaring. We take our prisoners alive, give them a chance yet, yet to live, to be reborn into something better, putting any and every able body to the sword like the disfavored. Do is nothing but a waste. A conquered enemy is but a new ally. It merely requires the proper cohesion. Cohesion? Oh god. Of course, we do sometimes have the problem of lingering loyalties. Deserters are barely successful in their escape, but they do try. The Vendrian guards, strengthened by their numerous blood ties, have been particularly stubborn. So, I have a better plan hatched. She tips her head to you, a smile playing at her lips. I had a feeling you'd see it that my way. I'm thinking we redouble our efforts to recruit settlers, focusing on the unaligned and unsuspecting instead of flushing ourselves to the gills with oathbreakers clean from the battlefield. How exactly do you plan to convince them? At a knife point has sufficed well enough in the past, but you've inspired me to try a more diplomatic approach this day. What do you say, Binder? You might be able to ease them to the idea and save the lives of their friends and neighbors in the process. If it means expediting the end of the Binder and conflict, like so be it. Sure, why not? Sounds fine. I'm not doing this car course dirty work for them. Get your own horde pup to do it. The Fury howls a satisfied laugh and smacks you dead on the back. My methods are sure fire. You'll see. I'll mark the settlement on your map. She grins, biting her bottom lip blooded. Bloodied, I can't wait to see the outcome of your efforts. Well, I hope I can talk to them then. Let's see, death no. Counts on our fingers, conducting some mental tally. From your deeds during the conquest to see to how you've helped us since then. Let's go to course figure one. I expected a mountain, a warrior of colossal size who could shout a rampart wall into submission. She smiles, but I think you'll do just fine. Uh, we are the voices in the rots. Glory made manifest, and the chorus strength rises, and the weak feel the soil. 
Death Knell smiles, standing tall as she extols the army. Our ways terrified the cowardly and shocked the naive, but our traditions exist to offer promise and prestige to those fit to claim it. We abandon all petty rules for one simple law. The strongest must lead. Oh, Death Knell frow frowns, her eyes narrowing. Do you not recognize the Scarlet Fury when you see one? We are the warrior spirit of the chorus, scholars of sword and shiv. She folds her arm, puffing out her chest. In peace, we train those tough enough to endure our lessons, but wise enough to learn from the best in battle. It is our duty to slay our foes and inspire the horde with our skill and bravery. Death Knell clicks her tongue, legging aside to the others in the camp with an eye roll. We are a fearless vanguard of this confused but glorious rabble. How has the military life treated you so far? Oh, it's a wonderful... It's a wonder of wonders. I eat what I want, I shit where I want, and I kill who I want. Sometimes I even combine pleasures. She winks at you. My enthusiasm for the work brought me here. I, a decorated scholar theory, veteran, eh? But I'm looking for advancement. If it kill, if it means killing one of the gang bosses, I'm not above taking a swing at someone bigger than me. They can be bigger than you. Just make sure they don't hit harder than you. Wise words, sister. <laughs> Alright, I think that's pretty much it. Coolios. I got that. Hey, I just got my exact same mace. That's hilarious. Um, or is it better? Nope, it's exactly the same. Well, kinda actually. Actually, I think this is better. Yeah. Slightly better. It has slightly better stats. More accuracy and a bit more DPS. Alright, cool. See that? It's all in the reflexes. Uh, let's see. Hail, Fate Binder of Tunon. The disfavored officer pounds a heavy gauntlet against his chest in a stiff but warm greeting. Were I a betting or a superstitious man, I'd say fortune must favor me today. I am not. But I'm pleased to meet you all the same. Now, what brings you to my little slice of personal damnation, otherwise known as? He spreads his thickly gloved hands wide. This here mud and shit stinking course camp. Have anything you'd like to report, soldier? Maybe you notice something unusual during your time here. Yeah. He cants his head to one side, uh, taken aback. What about this chorus? What about the chorus is an unusual? The army itself is a strange, malnourished beast, but no. No, the screamers seem mostly in order, sir. And I haven't been spying, if that's what you're implying, sir. Still, as opposed, he studies you sharply, scarce. Scarcely appearing to be read. Of course, even if I was, it'd be damned near impossible to learn anything from this shit. Shitsy? Yeah, Shitsy. Fifth Eye and those damn furies don't even loop me in enough for me to do my detail. And it's not for a lack of trying on my part. What do you mean? I'm not just here to... I'm not just here to keep a steady eye on the Oathbreakers. We... Who they give far too much freedom after conscri conscripting. I'm here to be a resource for the benefit of both armies. I can provide insight regarding proper stratagem and request a stock of troops from Iron Marshal Aero. Irenios for reinforcements if needed, but they won't listen to me, nor confide in me. 
never fight beside the brethren I could request. Are right, you hearing the state uh, chorus? From the way most of my days go, you think I was here to row with blood chanters and scholar fears, but my post is to represent the favorite's interests before Pithai and the scholar fears for martial air. Arionis, Arionos, oh Jesus. Not that I'm, um, I've gotten to do you either in so much as the last span. What do you think of the Scarlet Chorus? Have they... Let's see. Uh, they're rabid dogs, a lot of them. Ever seen a screamer racing headlong into battle like a hound chasing a, a winter hare? I have. And I can tell you more often than not, it's the screamer who ends up skinned and gutted. Leave the campaign to the chaos, that's the chorus, and we're doomed. Isn't it? I know I fucked up to get here. Got three days in a hole and a nice little promotion to go with my new post. Well, I won't be making the same mistake twice when it comes to, that, uh, to the Iron Marshal. He just, he just juts his chin toward the distant valley. <clears throat> I should be out there fighting for Ash's glory, not standing here ready to run back a report should something ever happen, or should something ever finally fucking happened. Are they pick corruptive? No one tells me anything, they all lack honor and discipline, don't they, don't think they could cooperate even if it's what they actually wanted. He grunts, guess I shouldn't be surprised considering they serve the Archon's secrets. No, uh, you must know. I mean no disrespect to the Overlord, sir. He shifts beneath the weight of his armor uncomfortably. Besides, only a dumb shit or a dying man would insult the voices in his own camp, and I don't intend to do to be neither. Our lives are at risk, and even then, you can't get along with the course. Nah, I'm so tired. All right, let's go. Let's see who else can I talk to. Oh, what is this? Try glass file. Talk to those guys and they'll probably train me. A dagger. I need to start selling stuff. I got too much junk on me. Oh, that is way too much. Whoa. You seem like a merchant. Upon noticing your approach, the merchant straightens his posture and smiles. What an honor. The name's Snigler Dagos. Originally from the relative tranquility of the Northern Empire, I've since accepted a nomadic life for the sake of keeping Kairos' forces supplied with only the finest goods, local and imported. Let me see your wares. He winces a little. It's not much, but let me know if you see anything that piques your interest. Well, we got cores that we can grab. And then... Sell that. Sell this. Oh, this is expensive. Look out. Alright, cool. So we have that, and then we need to check any armor I cannot use. I should have actually done that before, huh? Whoops. Alright, it's fine. I'm gonna trade these. This is a javelin. This is a javelin. Hmm. Okay. 
It's fine. Um... You have a slashing one. I'm gonna give you a crushing one. Also. And uh, I guess I'll read these. Oh, I can't read that one. I can read this one. My lore is going up. Nice. Uh, right. What happened? Uh oh. Two-handed weapons. Oh, no. She's not a two-hand wielder. She's a dual wielder. That's right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go over here. And... Burning iron requires metallic. Uh, let's see. Launch an arrow. Drench... In oil and covered flames, sets foes on fire for much longer than burning iron. Replaces burning iron into eternal flame. Ooh. Ooh. Also pretty good. Hmm. First taunts her enemies, enraging them, and forces them to attack her for a brief time. So she can also taunt. Oh. Nah, let's see. I like the... F I do like the burning. Oh. Okay, this is after a kill. Does that mean the verse has to kill him? Let's go for this for now. Let's see, Scarlet Chorus. This favor. Oh, this favor. Hate me. Jesus. Avenging Guard. They're not that big a fan. Oh! Lathian's Crossing. They like me. How kind. Barrack. Appalled by your barbaric words and actions. Yeah. Yep. The verse is still. The verse still likes me. Where's this one? Ed. Ed likes me. So she is going to be a, a character sometime I can get. Well. Kinda. Let's see, Graven Ash. Kind of likes me, kind of doesn't. Voices in a rot. He, he really hates me. Interesting. Interesting. They really hate me. Alrighty then. Ah, the defense is fun. That's right. Increase accuracy. That's interesting. Hmm. Right. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's go this way. We're gonna talk to 